Alright, hi everybody. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a very realistic looking Lego iPhone 4S. And what you're going to do first is you're going to build the interior part of the screen because that's what holds pretty much the entire rest of the phone together. When you start off, you're going to need four 1x4 black tiles, a 1x6 black tile, a 1x6 black brick. Uh, you're also going to need four 1x1 one one bricks with side studs, which just have one. So as you can see here, it's got just one stud on the, on the side. You're going to need four of those. And you're also going to need four of these. These 1x4 bricks with side studs. And um, four is what keeps the model really stable, although up to two of them, you can substitute normal bricks or other combinations of, say, these 1x1s. Since I'm a bit short on pieces, I'm going to be substituting a 1x4 brick for one of these. And that's about it, so let's get started. Alright, first off, you're going to build the center of the screen. So you're going to take these 1x4 tiles, and you're going to take two of them each, and just stack them up on top of each other like this. So they look like this. This is a little stack. And then you're going to take a 1x4 brick with side studs and just put one on each one of them. Now on this one I'm substituting a 1x4 brick and it's always better to substitute on these pieces than it is on these pieces because these ones are the very center and they're the most vital to holding the entire thing together. So those two pieces are done. Now with these, this brick and tile, and what you're going to do is take a 1x4 brick with side studs, put it in the center of each one, and these remaining little bricks with side studs, you're just going to put on each end and make sure all the side studs, side studs face outward. So you're going to be like this, with each piece, they're not facing backward, they're not facing the same direction as here, they're facing sideways. And you're just going to do that on the tile and the brick. Okay, now that you have these four pieces, this is basically the entire components of the screen. And the way you're going to put this together is, you're going to line these two pieces up like this, so that the four side studs are on the edges. And you're going to take one of these each and put it at each end. And you're going to just kind of hold these together and snap this one on. And you'll notice that when you put these on at first, there's going to be a division right here because sideways building is not as perfect as standard building so it's going to be a little bit off but just kind of squeeze it together, clamp it together and put the other piece on the end and that's not going to do anything bad to the bricks it's just going to kind of keep them in a little tighter formation there and you'll have this make sure that all of one side is smooth so like all the side studs are facing the same direction. And that's the center of your screen. Now for the sides of the phone, you're going to take two 1x10 tiles, or you can substitute like a 1x6 and a 1x4. And you're also going to take two 1x2 bricks and two 1x8 bricks. And these are just going to put one of the 1x8s and 1x2s on each one. Just like this. So you've got a big long strip here. And just put one on each side. And it looks better if you have the one by twos on the same end. It's like you can see here how this one and this one's right here. And this is the entire screen of your phone, is this side right here. Again, make sure just that you have all the side studs facing outward like this. Next up, we're going to build the top of the phone. You're going to start with a basic 1x8 white tile, or as you'll learn later you can use different uh, color schemes for the outside, and put a 1x6 tile on top of that like this. Then what you're going to do is take two 1x2 tiles,
and just put them on right here and then in the middle you can put either a 1x2 tile or this 1x2 grill that I have or also two black, uh, black studs will work and the color dark gray is also a very good color for this and that's going to comprise your speaker next you're going to take a 1x4 tile and place it on top so so far you're going to have kind of like a little stack like this on the ends you're going to take two of these 1x2 arches right here and you're going to put one on each side and the last thing you're going to do on the top right here is take let's see, a 1x4 tile and a 1x2 with a center stud and just place them on top here so it should look like this next we'll work with the bottom of the phone which is this you start with a 1x8 again um, but instead of placing a 1x6 on it you're going to take four 1x1 tiles just these little guys and place one on each end and then one on each side of a 1x2 space in the center so what you're going to want to have is it looking like this Okay. Next thing you're going to do is take two 1x1 one one plain bricks and place them in these little slots right here. Then you're going to take two 1x1 one one bricks with side studs and stack them up next to those so it looks like this. Then you're going to take a 1x1 one one brick with central hole and a 1x2 tile. Place the tile on top of the brick like this it's got an extra tile and place it right in the center then take two more of your arches these one by two arches place one in each end again and on top you're just going to put a plain one by six flat tile like so and there's two things left to do now you're going to need a one by six flat tile and a one by two disc plate but don't put the plate on this side see how the side studs are facing out you don't want the disc on that side on this side you're going to place a 1x6 tile like this so it kind of partially covers up that hole on the opposite side that's where you're going to place the disc so you see on this side we have the disc and on this side there's the side studs and the tile right here alright so that's the bottom of your phone and uh, for the sides I mean, it's pretty much just tiles. You just have these pieces here. And what you're going to do is, back on the screen right here, you're going to take, find out which side is your top, and on the right side, you're going to place a 1x8 tile, which overlaps the 1x2 brick, and a 1x2 tile on the side right here. So it looks like this, and that's on the right side of the flat part of the screen right here. And on the left side, on the bottom, you're going to start with a 1x6 tile and put a 1x1 flat tile next to it. Like this, so you're left with three studs of space. First, you're going to place a 1x2 with center stud, and last, you're going to put on just a plain 1x1 tile. And these comprise the sides. Make sure that the side with the buttons is on the left, but, it's, but when you flip it around to the place with the side studs, it's actually on the right. And now... We're going to add the sides. The bottom is going to go on right here. So whichever side you have the buttons on, that's going to be the side that this faces outward. Make sure the button faces on the same side as the smooth part of the screen. And this top part is going to go on right here. And when you do, make sure that this tile right here faces the opposite side these ones do. So it looks like this so far. And it actually looks pretty realistic where we're at right now. But it's not done yet because we still have a black screen showing through the other side. So now we're going to make the back, which is really easy. And it's also really easy to customize. So for the basic back, you're going to need two 4x12 plates, which can be easily substituted with... Um, 
two eight by sixes or four eight by four three eight by fours or uh, something along those lines. Just make sure it's the same size. You get an eight by twelve plate. Then you're gonna place this one by six tile close to the top of it and put a one by two here holding it all together like this. And this stud, which is gonna be the camera of the phone, is gonna go right here on this very corner next to the on the same side that this tile's on right here. And this is gonna be just the really basic back. And if you have other pieces that like a three four by eights or something, you can use other tiles to hold them together. Although if you have a bunch of side studs on the back, usually they'll just stay on themselves. And then this is just going to snap right on the back here. And um, pay close attention. This side that already has a 1x6 tile, you're going to place the camera on the opposite side. And the camera is going to be on the same side as the button right here. And that's basically the back of your phone. Now you can use a lot of different tiles to customize it. For example, I've made this special tile that has the Apple logo on it. Um, you can also use like a tile like this that has the Lego logo on it or uh, something similar. And you can use just like plain tiles and just make different patterns and stuff on the back. And it's really up to you because it's almost like the case of the phone, that what cover you choose. Um, another thing you can do on here is you can use different color schemes. So for example, I've built... A, um, a light gray color scheme and um, you can really just choose whatever color you want but I have the back here and then these tiles on the sides and you can it's really easy because all, almost all these parts are just really interchangeable I mean the bottom just snaps off like this and you just put a different one on and there you go so it's really it's really easy to customize when you make them look like it's your phone and it's really easy to have it, have it look the way you want to. And you notice on this back that I made for the gray one, I have taken a one by one tile with a clip and a Lego apple and just put it on here and it gives it a really cool effect. Because it's like apple, but it's Legos. So those are just some of the ways you can customize it. And this is going to be your iPhone 4S.